Hi and welcome back to M's Den. We are Paula Marie. And this is our turning 10 old toys into £2,000 challenge. back for another week another exciting installment of whatever this is the challenge the challenge, the challenge, That's challenge, it. The challenge. week 43 can you believe it <sighs> we're getting there we're, we're getting, getting there. there so if you're new to these videos um where have you been it's week 43 already go back to the start yeah catch them go up go to the playlist go back to the start yeah you don't want to miss all this exciting yeah. content watch them all all 43 weeks yes this is an exciting installment where we are a reseller couple mm. and we are doing trying to do something nice for our daughter's 21st birthday she'll be 21 in june 2023 so it's 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 only a few weeks away now isn't it a year-long challenge and we are already at week 43 now, we, when we were at week 10, we were starting regretting it then. Yes, we knew straight away we'd done the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> we'd signed up for something that wasn't going to be good. <laughs> so we're at week 43. We've been plodding on, haven't we? Week we have. after week. Yeah. And what we've been doing is we started off the challenge with 10 of our daughter's old toys. And we decided we would sell them. We would take off the fees, yeah. take off the postage and the profit. We would reinvest and buy and sell clothing and shoes. Yes, we didn't just take those toys, by the way. We she didn't want them. She, she, she didn't want them anymore. <laughs> she gave them. She donated them to us. Yes, and we thought, oh, we can make money out of these, turn it into a, some money and give it back to her. Yeah. And that can be her present. Mm. Um, but over time, we have bought and sold 200 and... Well, we bought 229 mm. items of clothing or shoes. We have sold 112 items. We have currently 117 items our kitty at the moment is 570 pounds and 21 pence it's getting there i'm very slowly but it's it getting there now listing value is 3071 pounds and 14 pence that's of the the 112 items no no where are we sorry 117 items that are currently on ebay Yes, and we've recently decided to stop buying, so we're now yeah. trying to get all the money in. We're trying to sell, sell, sell. Mm. Um, Shall we go through what we've sold, hun? Breaking news. This isn't going to take long. We've Not, sold one item. Oh, my goodness me. One item. It's not been good. It's not been good. Not been good at all. No. Anyway. We've sold a Rocher, John Rocher polo shirt for £12. We originally paid £2.50, so we've taken off the fees and the postage, so £8.18 is going back into our kitty. Mm. Normally we'd reel off now all the other things that have sold, um, but there is no other. No. There are no other things, huh? No it's just that things. one Rosha John Rosha shirt. Yeah, that loan thing. Yes, so it's going to add £8.18 to our kitty, so why Ooh, don't you... nearly there. I know. <laughs> so as it stands in the video, we have sold, bought, sorry, we've bought 229 <laughs> items, we've sold 113 items, we currently have 116 items. Yeah, and the kitty at the moment is, well, the new kitty, I should say, is mm. £578.39. And, and our listing value is starting to go down. Uh, £3,059.14, and uh, 14 pence, sorry. Yes, uh, so... Yeah, I don't want to read that figure out there, I think that's... What, the ham, how, how much we've got how to go? We've got, got we to need go, to tell yeah. them, hon, it's, uh, we're trying to be factual. £1,421.61. That's all we've got left to go. That's it. In a matter of weeks, hon. How are we going to do that? So, oh. We have had a week where we've discussed this clothing challenge for many an hour yes trying to figure out what we're doing wrong and what we're going to do to try and change it and improve it we we're not very good at just leaving things if they're not working we are trying to always look at how we're going to make it better yeah um we do find that the the clothing challenge um doesn't 
you know, we don't devote as much time to it as perhaps we would like to, but that's because we're running a, um, a, a store with 1,500 items. Mm. We have branched out to doing some Amazon things recently. Yeah. And we obviously make three videos a week as well. So, but when you add yeah. it all up, we're very really busy it. people, yeah. aren't we? It's, it's quite hectic, I must admit. It's um, It does mess with your head a little bit. And, you, yes. you know... Um, you, you're trying to cram quite a lot into your day, into your which day. Is, is very difficult. And we do also, because um, you, you take Emily dancing three times a yeah, week, yeah. so that's of a, lot of, um, a lot of night times yeah. gone. Yeah, so you, you try to plan stuff so you can do stuff when you're out and you're waiting about. And Her dance is um, 40 minutes away-ish. Yeah. Um, so of course it's not something you can do. You can go, come back, go, come back. It's, no, it's, not, gone, it's not down the road. You're gone, aren't you? So, of course, you, you try and sort of plan things that, that, that could be done, but it doesn't always work out. So, um, you know, um, it is what it is. Uh, yes. not, we haven't devoted enough time to it. <clears throat> we are trying now to um, put more regular items yes. on there to get, to get you know, regular we do list, listings. We do list on we a daily do, oh, basis yeah, for do, the clothing. We just want to make that we'll clear. We just try and up it and we're just going to um, just, just keep it steady and try and um, see if the algorithms start picking that up. And, yes. And but what, it's, 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 it's just difficult, isn't it, to try and just cram all that well, stuff in. Well, you, you sort of think if you list on a daily basis, if you do relist on a daily basis, you should be getting some sales. Mm. And to get one... Um, you know, we, we also um, have a situation where we, just because we're not buying for the clothing challenge anymore, we haven't stopped buying clothing in general. Because oh, no, over no. the 43 weeks, the yeah. re one of the reasons we took on this challenge was to learn about clothing and shoes. Yeah. It's one of the biggest um, categories to sell in. It's one of the most <clears throat> popular on eBay. So we yeah. wanted to learn about it. We wanted to just, just um, get a bit. We, we, we will never be the amazing clothing sellers will we we're never going to be um, <laughs> the luxury pickers oh, are we no what legends Definitely. we're never going to be legends. like those legends <laughs> <Never> no. <laughs> um, but we are learning and we have um you know we did we are selling things for sort of the 30 pound mark yeah, yeah. and for, for people that didn't know anything about clothing we you know we're quite pleased that we've mm. got to that level where we can buy things it's, um, it's just and a, sell them for 30 pound plus you know it, it's we were sort of looking at it as a as a little backup to what we um do on the other side wasn't yeah. it the sort of thing as and try and get them running together um so that that was what well, we were sort of trying to build up a knowledge and this was the ideal thing this challenge to to try and do that yes and what we've done recently in a bid to try and um generate more sales for the challenge um, because obviously we have other sales that mm. don't go through the challenge, so other mm. items of clothing that we buy. Mm. Um, but to be honest, we've only sold about three or four items in it's a week been anyway, very, so it's very been really, weak really poor. For some it? reason, I don't know. But, but all, anyway, all you can do is keep plodding through. You keep going. You keep listing, and you just just try and keep your listing constant. Yes, we've just bought a. Um, um, if you've seen our most recent Wednesday video, we've just bought a hundred. No, we've just bought spent a hundred pound mm. on clothing from the lovely Tory. Yeah. We did a clothing unboxing, and it was forty-one um, lovely, clean, ironed, mm. fresh items. Ready to list. Ready to list. <laughs> just put them on a hanger, photograph Got them. them. Yeah. Um, and so we've been working on those items for the last few days, haven't we? Yeah. We've just we've slightly changed our process as well because I was sort of doing all the photography mm. um and but paul is is now doing the photography so that if we do it's it trying, together it yeah. means it's a quicker, it's quicker process, process so so that we can try and list up our listing each day we, we, at the minute we do about five yeah but we want to do about do 10 do don't we that's what we're yeah. trying to aim for to see if it will bump up i mean ideally we're selling. 20 to 30 a day is the ideal number but the problem is is our time we yeah, can't source just, that just, many can we, we can't source that many but it's a time issue if we did have that many yeah i don't think we'd be able to achieve that um for the amount of other stuff that we we have going on no um so um no we definitely definitely needs to be up but it definitely needs to be consistent that, yes that's, so that's, that's what we're that's the main thing where we just wanted to let you know that we're not just going to let it go like that we you can't you have to fight to, for it and you, you have yeah to, you, you have to you, you know you have to keep going um, we can't we've bought um i think in total we've bought almost 900 items of clothing um since we started doing clothing in june yeah um so you know we, we sort of invested a fair amount into it we um i quite like doing clothing it's a bit different yeah. quite girly 
Um, I'm not a massive buy clothes for myself person, but if I'm buying clothes for other people, I love spending that money on clothing. It's mm -hmm. it's lovely you can get all these girly dresses and that. Not yeah. things that I would wear, yeah. but it's nice to buy clothing. So, yeah, really enjoy doing it. So we want to keep it going, but we just need more than one or two items selling a week. It's got... This is yes. the worst it's been in, yeah. in yeah. all the time we've been yes. doing it. Yeah, definitely. definitely. So we're coming into the spring. We've got lots well, of um, got summer lots of, things. That's it, we have. So um, hopefully they will kick in. And we've been relisting um, on, on for the last few weeks. We've been relisting. Changing prices yeah. and relisting. We've just reduced prices as well. So we are. You know, changing things about title wise. We are you trying know I mean? to just, be. Just giving it a good refresh. Trying to be better, aren't we, at yeah. doing it? And we're trying to revigorate it all. So hopefully next week we'll have more than the one sale to show you. <laughs> but we've waffled on with our yes, woes. Yes, we have, yes. This Sorry. Is, this is the joys of reselling. It's, it's oh, up it's, and sometimes it up and it's down. down. It's up and down all the time. And this is the thing. You have to cope with up. it. Yeah, you can't you, give if up. It's, if it's something adapt. you really want to do then you enjoy it, then you, you have to push through yeah. the, the, the bad times. And, you can't sit you know, and cry about it. you just got no, to get no, on and just, do... just get on and do it. Something's and not working, figure out why it's not working yeah. and change it. That's it. And that's what we're doing. Yeah. So we'll move on to Miss A. Miss A is a lovely lady who donated a box of 30 high-branded items. Thank goodness she did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness she did. Um, life-saving <laughs> Miss yeah. A um, because it has made a difference to this whole challenge because at least Emily will have some money to spend when she's yeah, on her it. holiday on that's what Miss A's to... fund is it's yeah. the spending money and Miss A's side of the challenge has gone really has gone really well hasn't it mm. it's gone much better mm. but with those 30 items I suppose because we started off with more investment that's what it is um, we've yeah. managed to buy 241 items we've sold 120 items Eight items and we currently have 194 items listed mm. and our kitty at the moment for the Miss A challenge is 606 pounds and 50 pence and the listing value of the items uh, the 194 items currently on is 3610 pounds and 37 pence so thank goodness because at least Emily's gonna have some money to spend on her holiday. I don't know where she's going, no, but no. she's going to have. She's going to be able to buy all the food and go out and eat and have a lovely, lovely time. Yeah. I'm very jealous. We yeah. should have made the challenge going out as a family. That's what we should have called it. Yeah, we've we've did all ourselves our there. Family trip. We? Our family, our family trip. trip. Yeah. That's what it should have been. Yeah. Should have been. Not that she'd have wanted it should have that. Been, it should have been a, a Disney one, shouldn't it? Oh, so. wouldn't that have been nice, wouldn't yeah. it? Disney. <laughs> All of us go to Disney for Emily's 21st. That's what yeah, we should that have would have been it. amazing. I'd it? have remembered that. <laughs> anyway, back to Miss A. Is there any breaking news, hun? Well, I mean, there wasn't last week, was there? No. It's not much better this week, hun. <laughs> there is this week. <laughs> Just the one, one item. <laughs> Woo! So we're going to show you this super dry men's shirt that we paid £3.54. It sold for £11.99. So £8.10p. Oh, that's massive, hun, isn't it? It goes back into the kitty. So at this point in the video, we have, for Miss A, we have bought 241 items. We've sold 129 items. We currently have 193 items listed, hun. And the kitty now is £614.60. And the listing value of the ones on eBay at the moment is £3,598.38. So this is the frustrating thing with it, is if you looked at the values of the um, the stock, there is quite a lot there. You look there's at £6,500 of... worth of stock yeah, sat there, there's a lot not of selling. Um, so frustrating. You know, I mean, some of it obviously isn't going to be the right stuff and, and might not ever sell. But, no. um, you know, hopefully we, we are coming to the warm weather. It's been, it's been quite sunny warm today, today yeah. so you never know. People might start looking at second-hand clothing and short sleeve and shirts. We've got plenty of those. Yeah, that's it. Got a lot of that um, because we didn't sort of uh, think about it last year, did we? Again, well, we winter just, gear. we were buying, weren't we? For, for then, we're, not realising yeah. that autumn would come along and no one would want that. So you know, we're hoping that um, things will start. Ticking, picking up, picking up, yeah, yeah, because of the because of the weather. So, so yes, watch so. this space. We were, we are um, already listing more. Mm. Um, so yeah. hopefully we'll have more to show you next week. Yes. But now, yeah. if you're new to these videos, uh, this is the very exciting part of the video where we go through the research. And I have my coffee. Forty-three weeks of research. How many weeks do you think we can actually remember? 
One? Yeah, one or two. <laughs> <laughs> so we always pick out two people or two companies to focus on and we go through the items that have sold recently, whether they're worth picking up. We do have a sort of a theme here. Um, we aim to be able to buy something for up to a fiver mm. and sell it for over 20. When we go to Chad Shops, we want a blanket bomb. Yeah. Um, we want to do a, a, quite a few. We want to be quick and swift and efficient. So we sort of have this mantra of, of up to a fiver. Um, if we're spending that much, we want it to be selling for over mm. 20. So let's have a look. Now, this is the embarrassing bit, um, because I have picked two names from the unboxing that we did with toy if you haven't seen the unboxing video that went out on wednesday it's worth watching because i made a complete fool of myself <laughs> when i said to paul that i recognized ozzy clark the name ozzy clark and he pointed out that i knew exactly who she meant <laughs> <laughs> he pointed out that i actually meant oz clark the bloke who drinks wine on the, the wine expert, the wine expert. <laughs> yeah so it turns out i didn't know ozzy clark at all um, made a complete fool of myself. So I thought, well, let's choose Ozzy Clark and let's actually learn about who he is. Everyone knows apart from me how new Ozzy Clark is. So Ozzy, it's Raymond Ozzy Clark, was a British fashion designer who was a major figure in the swinging 60s scene in London and the fashion industry in that era. Clark was known for his plunging necklines, flowing silhouettes and prints. That's why I didn't know him, hun. I'm just mm. way, I'm way too young. That's why I wasn't around in the 60s. Yeah. I can't say that about many things. <laughs> so, as always, we like to have a look. Now, with this particular brand, um, I've gone for the dates between the 1st and the 25th of March. My hair is fluffy and driving Annoying me mad. Do you want me to hold it down? <laughs> I'm going to try and carry on. Mm. So, pre-owned items, that's all we look at, between the 1st and the 25th of March and 40 Aussie Clark items have sold. But this one's a real interesting one. Um, I mean, they're interesting every week, hun. Oh, but yeah, this yeah, one yeah. exceptionally interesting yeah. because 21 items out of the 40 have sold for over £20. Mm. But nine of those have sold for over £200. Mm. Because Aussie Clark is quite an old brand, um, some of those that have sold, or I think all of them, uh, have of the nine are vintage and vintage right. goes for hundreds of pounds hung. You'd be really surprised. For, then. I've chosen a couple to show you because mm. um yes, vintage Aussie Clark, you're on to a winner. Yeah. So we're gonna start with this formal dress, size twelve, navy, and it's long, it's it had two bids and went for fifty one pounds and three ninety nine. Normally we're moaning about um, items going on auction because they don't re reach their sort of yeah. full potential. But well, this is one, of, their, this one, of, the, one yeah. of the exceptions to the rule. If you've exactly. got a, a vintage brand, then um, mm. then yes, the name can be quite good and you can fetch a bit of money. I think regular items on auction is is, is not the best thing. No. But, um, but when, you've got, got, when you've got rare items, unique items. Yes, as I say, sort of in, in um, between the first and 20th, only 40. Yeah. So it doesn't look like they're selling many, but it's because... Um, they're probably a bit harder to get hold of. Yeah. So let's move on to a size 10 blouse, hun. This went for £25 plus £4.45. We've got a maxi dress here, size 10 pink. This went for £38. It, it had eight bids to get to that. £38 mm. plus £3.99. Then we're going to surprise you, hun, with this vintage 1970s blouse in black. And this is when you'll see the plunging neckline. Um, you've got to have a lovely figure to wear this sort yeah. of thing. This sold for £270 plus wow. £8.95 postage. That's fantastic, isn't so it? I'm going to have to see what the Aussie Clark logo, the vintage logo, yes. looks like and, and it. sear it into my brain so I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Then we're going to finish with this vintage dress, size 12. This had 21 bids to get to £465 and £3.95. Ninety-three, three hundred, yeah. three pounds ninety-three <laughs> postage. I clearly need another swig of my coffee. Yeah, hand. you do. Have another swig. Let's have I mean, another that, swig. That is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Um, but as we always mention, we mention the amount that have sold in that time frame between the first and the twenty-fifth of March, um, and obviously twenty-one went for over twenty pounds. But just bear in mind that there are some that didn't achieve that, and mm. that a lot of the time is because they've they've gone on bids um, at auction. 
mm. um, but quite a strong brand and mm. I can't believe I didn't know who he was. Well the thing is we will always remember this Always one. remember we'll him now always because remember I made a fool of myself. Going at Oz Clark. <laughs> but I have put in Han just to, um, oh my hair, just to give you a little bit of extra editing because I know you love spending your oh, time doing that. I've then. put in a bonus item for everyone this week because Ozzy Clark, um, there are other items related to Ozzy Clark that sell and I, I saw this and thought, well, I'll keep my eye out for that. Mm. This is an Ozzy Clark Diaries book that went for £61.10p. All right. So it's worth looking out for if you yeah. see that Ozzy okay. Clark Diaries book. Mm. It's um, good money. Yeah. So okay. that's going to throw you out because I've I've done a, a, an unusual numbering system with the photos, that's all but right. we'll that's see all right. how it goes. <laughs> now we're going to move on to another um, label that we got from Tory. This is Oliver Oliver Bonus Bonus. I think that's Bonus Bonus, 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 bonus. something along those lines. B O N A S. That's how mm. you sort of pronounce it. It's um, a UK based homeware and clothing store which opened its first store in Fulham Road, London. Oliver Bonus, 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 was founded by Oliver Tress in 1993. He should have stuck with his name. Yeah. But the name is actually the the Bonus bit. Um, it was actually an ex-girlfriend, so he used his name and the, and the, her surname. What would he do? Oh right. That's what he did back in the day when yeah. he set the company okay. up. Yeah. yeah. And stuck with it. Okay. But this is an interesting one because you know sometimes I say, oh, it's a small world, isn't it? Mm. This person, his girlfriend, we already know. Because mm. it's, you remember Matt Hancock when he resigned? Yeah. Because he was doing the old kissy kissy, wasn't he? Yeah. It was that lady, that was this person's wife. Oh, was it? Yeah, I know. Isn't oh it my interesting? God. It's a small <laughs> world, everybody, and that's what we've learned. When we do the research, this is what we've learned this week. Yeah. Um, I know. Oh, okay. I know. Anyway, let's move on to the clothing. Now, this is, um, sometimes you do something and you think you're doing the right thing, and you look back and you go, oh my goodness me, I've made so much work for myself. When I looked at Aussie Clark, I tried to widen the net because I wanted to give you um, a good sort of cross section of what was yeah. selling. So I chose the time frame, the 1st to the 25th of March, thinking that was quite good. Mm. When I've got to Oliver Bonus, let's call him Bonus from now on, mm. 673 <laughs> pre-owned items. Do you know how many pages I had to go through? <laughs> And this fella isn't just selling clothing, he's, he's a massive range of homeware. I wow. had to go through about 15 pages counting, <laughs> seeing which ones went for over £20. Absolute nightmare. Yeah. Um, so, yes, 673 items sold for Oliver Bonus um, between the 1st and the 25th of March. But only, only 91 of those went for over £20. Mm. Only 91. But right. the majority of them have gone on bids, so some of them are going for as low as £1.50. Oh, um, oh, but, stuff, yeah, it? so I did feel I'd wasted my time a little bit, but I've, yeah. I've, I've chosen some of the ones that have gone for good money just to show you not to be put off, mm. um, but just be very aware when buying that particular brand to have a look for yourself. Don't rely on what I'm saying, because there are a lot that have gone for... Um, under £20, um, you know, hundreds that have gone for under £20. Mm. So it might be, you might have to be a little bit careful what you buy um, because not everything is going to go for over £20. Yeah. Um, whether you put it on, you know, bids or not really. Yeah, yeah. So it. let's show you some of the things that have gone for the, over that magical £20. So we've got this pink corduroy dress, size 10. This went for £22 plus £3.50 in postage. We've got the old wide leg denim jeans hung. Mm. These went for twenty six ninety nine plus four forty five. Not bad for a pair of jeans. No, no, that's good. Then that's we're good. following up with a jean jacket, thirty pound plus four pound forty five. So some of these items you can you can achieve over the twenty pound. You've just got to make sure you select wisely. I think that, that's the thing with this brand, isn't it? Is it is is. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be difficult, I think, to separate the good from the bad. But hundreds of items on auction yeah. are going for, you know, 150 mm. 250 and it really okay. skews the figures. Yeah. So let's move on to this sage green cord boiler jumpsuit. There's <laughs> quite a lot of words there to say, Ham. Um, this went for £50 plus plus four forty five postage. And we're going to finish with something that did do all right on auction. It had 13 bids, so quite popular. Yeah. It's an orange-pink animal print jumper that went for £40 plus 
plus £3.35p. It just goes to show you some of the, you know, if you've got the right item or if you put it at the right price, some if someone wants it, they will pay for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I've also chosen a bonus oh, item. Oh, not one. another bonus one. But it's worth looking at. This Oliver Bonners, they do amazing homeware items. I, yeah. I went through literally pages and pages. Really? Saw some lovely items. I've chosen this scalloped pink chair because this went for £99. I've seen lots oh, right. of scalloped okay. chairs of different yeah. colours. Lovely, absolutely gorgeous chair. So the homeware stuff in general is it is it higher than normal? Would you say? Or um, was it so I think average? some of the some of the chairs. Yeah, I think they're sort of designer. Some of the chairs. Yeah. Um, you know, a few hundred pounds, three four hundred pounds for okay. for some nice love chairs and things like that. Very mm. nice stuff. Mm. Um, but I I didn't even I'd never even heard of the brand yeah. as a home homeware sort no, of brand. You no, know. I um but that sort of concludes what we've um looked at this week two brands two um two brands complete opposites really yeah um yeah but it's like anything if you've got a vintage um clothing label then you know there's gonna be more demand for it because there's less supply yes, so definitely definitely one to look out for and um yes hopefully you've got some sort of value there as to what to have a look for Yes, uh, apologise if we uh, have been negative on the. <laughs> it's difficult on. It's to just, not be very, down when you, you, you know, you, know you, you get these days and. Um, I know, know, but I think especially like, where you're making the videos, people are watching to see how you're getting on and, and it turns out we're not getting on very well. <laughs> you want to sort of um, be able to show people that you, you know, when yeah. we started this, we were trying to prove to ourselves that we could buy and sell clothing and do okay with it. When you're selling one item here and there, it doesn't you don't yeah. it doesn't give you a lot of confidence no, that you're doing it. okay with it because um but it is that time of of, of the year where well it, you know it's starting to bite with people isn't it yeah that's the oh thing. yeah yeah things have changed you quite know. a lot and i got no doubt if we were doing this three or four years ago and i think it would be different yeah doing it, you know doing it a similar sort of way i think it'd be different but no things are, are a lot different now and yes, and all yeah. you can do is make sure you list regularly, make mm. sure you relist, yeah. make sure you make um, sure keep an eye on the prices and all this, let... tweak everything. Don't just yeah. sit and let stuff sit there. Yeah. Do something about it, and yeah, that's, that's what we're it. doing. Mm. If we come back next week and we've sold nothing again, we're going to look like idiots. <laughs> <laughs> but we've been that's on it. it. We've been really applying more time to it to try and yeah. get things try gone, and we've just bought... 40 odd items from Tory, some lovely stuff that we, so that should, we are listing. In theory, give the store a bit of a boost That's as well. That's what we need. So and it's we just, just that constant, constant supply, yeah. constant uh, listing. That's it. That's what we need. Yeah. So. so yeah, that's sort of where we are for this week. Hopefully, we'll have more news for you next week. Yeah. Um, it will be week 44 next week. <laughs> oh, it's getting dangerously close it's now. Get, huh? It's getting too close. Yes, we need a little bit more time oh, to get that money in, don't we? We do. So yes. That's, um, we're going to wrap up now and yes. finish our coffee. Thanks ever so much for watching. Yes, and uh, again, please uh, do give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and um, subscribe. Um, yeah, that'd be fantastic. Thanks. Thank you.